Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and today I kind of wanted to talk about just more the, the Nintendo side of um, video games. I do a lot of talks and chats about, you know, more Disney Infinity, uh, Marvel games, stuff like that. I don't really talk about more of, you know, Nintendo's Mario side and all that great stuff. And right now, what's kind, what, what's kind of taken over Nintendo and um, their systems right now is Yoshi's Woolly World. So I kind of wanted to go into that game, um, give some of my brief opinions on it, and compare it to some of the others. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Nintendo NX system. Uh, I know there's a lot of rumors about that right now. It's gonna it's supposedly gonna be this big, massive thing. So uh, you know, not physically, just it's like the uh, the concept of it is really just large and exciting. So um, let, I think we can go ahead and start with Yoshi's Woolly World. So uh, this game, I was at, I, you know I was aware about it um, from the time of E3. You know, before E3, I didn't really have any. Um, you know, knowledge about it, uh, that they were even doing another Yoshi game. Now, this game is specifically for Wii U, so of course, I mean, if you have a Nintendo 3DS or a new Nintendo 3DS or something like that, or even a regular Wii, you can't play this game. You have to, you know, play a different one. There's actually another Yoshi game out for the, that came out, like, last Black Friday-ish, so kind of like last December, so it's not that old. Uh, it's not even really a year old, it's Yoshi's New Island. Uh, that's a really fun one, I love playing that one. So I think we can kind of compare uh, Yoshi's Woolly World to the Yoshi's New Island. So uh, the big things that are a little bit different about Yoshi's Woolly World is, well, it's, it's this big, when you buy it, it's going to come in this box, kind of. It's going to be like in this box, and what's going to come in it is it, it's going to be the game and everything, but it's also going to come with a special new amiibo. Now, if you don't know what the amiibos are, well, they're like these, they're basically the Skylanders or the Disney Infinity characters, but they're just Nintendo's version of them. Now, the cool thing about the Nintendos that are much different from Disney Infinity and Skylanders is that because it's Nintendo, Nintendo can constantly be making more amiibos, so more of these like figures like you know Mario or Kirby or Zelda or or y Yoshi. You guys get what I'm saying, and you can use them the same figure in Mario Kart 8, in Super Mario uh, Par or Mario Party 10, or Super Mario Party. Th no, what's it called? Super Mario 3D or. Um, uh, all these different games. You got it's Super Smash Brothers. So, uh, you know, you guys kind of get how that concept works, and that's a really fun thing. So, you know, they're kind of limited to, like, just a like, couple major Nintendo games, and they basically, they only work with Wii U, and then this new Nintendo 3DX, or this new Nintendo 3DS XL system. So that's how it is now. Uh, and that's, you know, how they work. Or you can buy this like special portal thing, which costs about 20 bucks at like your local Target, and it you know it'll connect with your uh, older 3DS uh, XL, so the original 3DX uh, 3DS XL. So that's how they work. So this Yoshi's uh, Woolly World it comes with this special Yoshi, and the, it's this Yoshi uh, amiibo, and he's like all it's, it's the yarn version of him because the concept of Yoshi's Woolly World is, it's like it's all made out of yarn. Which is kind of, if you hit the, in, in the surface, it kind of seems kind of weird, but I mean, once you kind of see the gameplay, or if you, see, if you saw some of the trailers, it's really cool. It looks really cool. Um, and, you know, this yarn thing allows Yoshi to kind of turn into multiple and different kind of uh, things. Like, there's a plane, uh, I think there's a car. Um, you guys can see the mermaid on the thumbnail, so there's like a bunch of ones that he just he can turn into, which is very similar to like Mario, um, how Mario is able to do like the, the fireball version, how he's able to do that like squirrel flight suit thing, and um, yeah, so I think, it, I think that's really cool. And uh, I, like I said, I wasn't expecting, I mean, this is two Yoshi games within two years of each other. So, I mean, this is, it's, Yoshi's like, he was never really a big character. Like, he had a really, really good game uh, back in the, I think it was 95. And, uh, you know, I think that was the original Yoshi Island. So, uh, yeah, or it might have been the Super Mario, but it was, I think it was the original Yoshi Island, and that was a really good one. 
and I think that was 95. So uh, in, New Yo in Yoshi's New Island, I really loved that game. That was my favorite Yoshi game um, from, you know, since 95. They, I mean, in between that, they've come out with some decent but slightly not so fun Yoshi games where the gameplay wasn't good or something like that. So, you know, because of that, Yoshi just kind of became a side character that would show up in big Mario games or big, uh, you know, or Mario Kart or something like that. So, yeah, he was somewhat of a supporting character. But now what's happened is he's got he got another game. And this is definitely, in my opinion, the best Yoshi game that we've seen. Now, the ratings are just off the charts, number one. Number two, I think people are really intrigued by this whole idea of this yarn version of Yoshi. Uh, the gameplay is a lot of fun. There's a lot of different worlds here and there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different, um, you can play as different Yoshi, like, versions. Like, you know, if you don't want to be the green Yoshi, then you, maybe you could be the black Yoshi, or maybe you could be the purple Yoshi, or the blue Yoshi. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, there's a, your the two-player thing is, you know, there's two Yoshis, which works pretty well. Um, you know, you're trying to collect certain things, uh, coins and stuff, um, they're kind of, most of the, like, actual, like, gameplay, though, is very similar to the, uh, Yoshi's New Island, you know, where you can shoot with the aimer and, uh, along with stuff like that. So, uh, I'm really pleased with that. I think the other reason people are intrigued with this game is because of this amiibo. Now, people who, you know, are fans of the Nintendo games, but are also really big fans of buying the amiibos, you know, and just, like, having the amiibos, you know, you're, you're gonna try to collect all of them because it's like, hey... There's a new Amiibo out, I want to get that. And uh, that's another reason why this is going to be great. At least for Nintendo, because they're going to just, you know, keep getting more, pulling in more and more money from this. So I think it's a really smart idea. Uh, another game that's really big right now is Super Mario Maker. I know that's doing incredible for Nintendo. That's like, I think if you go to their website, it's like their number one most popular game as of right now. So uh, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, another thing that was kind of spilling over into actually Skylander Superchargers is that uh, Nintendo, I don't know if they're if they had they signed a contract deal with Skylanders or whatever, but uh, there is now a Skylander of Bowser and a Skylander of Donkey Kong, and they're like two main characters. If you buy them in the starter pack, I mean it's kind of crazy, but I think that they have some sort of you know, deal or something like that. So, um, I, I don't know. I think this is really fun. Uh, Shy Guy is in this too, so that's always great. Shy, you can't have a Yoshi game without Shy Guy. So, um, I don't know. I think right here and now, this is a, a really fun thing. I definitely recommend buying it. Um, the, the I mean, here's how, how I'd say this, though. If you don't have a Wii U, I wouldn't buy this game yet. I would wait till the Nintendo NX comes out. I know no one's really sure when that's going to be, but... You know, it's up to you guys, really. If you, I personally, I probably wait at this point for the Nintendo NX, and then I'd start getting new games, because if it's anything like Wii U, if Wii U, you know, you can't play, I don't think you can play your, your uh, Wii games on the Wii U. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think that's possible. So, uh, and vice versa. So, um, no, you know what, I take that back. You, you probably can't play your Wii games on the Wii U, but you can't play the Wii U games on the Wii. So it'd probably be something like that. Uh, the Wii U is a lot of fun, though. It's really cool. So I, I, in that sense, I would get it too. But I think it's up to your preference. You know, if this is something that interests you that much, then buy it. Uh, but if not, you know, I'd wait for the Nintendo NX. It's supposed to be amazing. So let me know what you guys thought about Yoshi's Wooly World and how it compared to Yoshi's New Island and uh, so maybe some other Nintendo games that you've heard of that you that are coming out soon that you're excited for. Let me know. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching any new installments of Game On.